What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how you doing? You see who this is. And once again, I'm going to do one of my famous international diatribes. So, uh, again, one of our favorite stand-ins, because we're going to ask him something. In four, three, two, one. This is deposed Nigerian president, Good Luck Johnson. And he's wondering, like I'm wondering, we're talking about all these black stars that won a boycott an award show for which, they're, which, which they want to get one of these, the Grammys. Now, recently what happened was, well, Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's wife, was mad that there was not one black person nominated for the Grammys um, and then any nominations for any movies or categories, I think. They're not enough, I don't, I'm not sure. One or the other. And I'm like, uh, no offense, but name one movie. I know everybody's going to say that movie with the concussions with Will Smith, but that wasn't really a diehard, you know, you know, qualify. To me, I didn't qualify for it. I mean, I spoke with people who saw that movie. They were like, mm, eh. They were like, you know, it wasn't that great, wasn't that bad, you know what I mean? And then they are saying, uh, the, the one the one movie which I thought is, what's his name, Dries Ebia, what his name, is that his name? Who stars on the BBC's Luther, and was, uh, he was in The Wire, and he was the guy that they were going to propose as the Black James Bond. That guy, you know what I'm talking about, British guy? I thought he should have been nominated, or maybe win, he should win for his depiction as an African warlord who trained them little children to, and to fight in wars. That's the only person I thought maybe would have a, I mean, outside of maybe a thespian thing, you know, maybe over in London there were some plays and stuff. I mean, but we know that, like, not, not just black people, a majority of white people don't even watch that stuff. So, outside of maybe a play that somebody was in, that's a different story because we don't, we're not, she's not really concerned about plays, she's concerned about movies. And my point about that is, if you're concerned about movies, let's look at some of the movies we're making. We're making a lot of black exploitation movies that are designed to make you laugh. And all it's doing is they're tap dancing. They're, they're one day tap dancing. Look, look, look at the Ride Along series. You know, we have Shakespeare and, 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 and Word. No, it's, it's just designed to make you laugh and hee haw and tap dance. And, you know, it's it's good. I'm not like, like I'm not, not mad, but. You gotta look at the stuff you're making, though. And if you're making, make better movies. That's the point. A certain a certain actors are locked in. Like like Kevin Hart can't go for a dramatic series. Maybe down the road he can, but right now he can't do that. Look at some of the, the top actors. Look, you think that they care about Straight Outta Compton? Straight Outta Compton was not for like for that. It was more for the people. But like I said, you got then now you got people crying about whoa. whoa Where's Chris Rock coasting? What you people don't understand is, and like, there's people who, hey, he probably had a contract to do that. And so it's probably, he probably has to do that. He's locked in. And, I, and if I were him, I would not, I would not leave that just because for, for a few heated Negroes who couldn't their little shine time. Whenever you were tap dancing for the part, you know, don't get mad because all that tap dancing didn't get you anywhere. And then, they, but, but, but uh, as usual, what, what they did is they called the he's the old Save a Negro program. And the old Save a Negro program, that stars Oprah. All they do is they call Oprah in, and, you know, they'll call Samuel L. Jackson in. They'll call the other few slight Negroes who, you know, who, are, who Hollywood likes. Not that Hollywood likes necessarily, but who will draw people, who will draw asses, you know, asses to seats. And then let me, let me tell you about this, about the Grammys. They're, they're crying and whining about all these celebrities who might do the Grammys, celebrities who are into the Grammys, but how black films are not getting promoted this, set and fifth. Let me take you back, where we're, and I'm going to tell you, where were these people at when this was happening? I'm going to give you a situation where this was legitimate, legit, and like none of these people crying now were helping an old boy. Remember when Malcolm, Malcolm Spike Lee made Malcolm X? Towards the middle of the end, he almost damn near went bankrupt. I think he did. He was, he was there you having no funds to film Malcolm X. 
Now, did any of these people who were, who were crying and whining about about blacks and Grammys and all this and that, did any of them go back, back like, I'm sure there's a couple of them, but there weren't a lot of people that went out there and actually helped Spike Lee. Spike Lee had to damn near beg black folks. I mean, beg black folks for making a Malcolm X movie. And some of these Hollywood Negroes wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't come off up their money without being begged. But yet, you want me to you want me to fight for your Grammy rights? First of all, I could care less about your Grammy rights. When you didn't care about Malcolm X of all people, we're talking Malcolm X. He got you from riding the back of the bus to the Grammys, and you didn't care about that. But all of a sudden, we're supposed to jump for the cause and jump the broom for uh, you didn't get nominated for the Grammys. Look, if you want if you want a Grammy nomination, pick the movies you pick better movies. Quit, quit starring them in the in the in movies that are black exploitation, or they're, or they're, they're, they're predictable. The black laugh, ha 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 ha. Whatever you whatever you do, you do a crossover. They just want to do some laughs, some chuckles. That's, that's your fault. Like I said, there was there were some movies that maybe I felt that were that were should be nominated, but I'm not the ones. I'm not the writers. And if you and if you don't, if you want to start boycotting them, boycott some of these stupid movies you guys are making. Like I said, right along, that's black exploitation. There's other black exploitation movies that you guys are making, but it seems not to stop you. Because you guys want to say, well, I've got to eat too now. Well, if you got to eat, don't get mad because you're making these movies. And these movies are the same type of movies that don't get recognized by the Grammys or anybody. So, that's all I had to say. I'm just trying to... Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't like the tone of that because, like I said, at the end of the day, Spike Lee had to damn near beg to help finish Malcolm X, and none, none of these high-class Negroes talking about banning the Grammys left and right. You didn't see none of them come off their money that easy. They had to be literally had to be begged too, which I found found pretty offensive. So you guys are throwing talking about well banning the Grammys, but then like. 25 something years ago when y'all still were making decent movies and you still were in your prime you weren't coming off that money to help Spike Lee not that I have not that it's a Spike Lee thing either. like I'm just saying you didn't have did you didn't want to help the brother friends Malcolm X of all people I can see it was a Hitler movie but Malcolm X all right then I just I'm going to go on that note so I hope all y'all having fun I hope y'all living long and prosperous lives all right have a good one deuces